what guys it's moving day they're outside my door the movers but i'm so excited to bring you guys to my new apartment <laughs> such a big step every time so i'm really excited to share more with you guys and thank you for sticking around i am actually really embarrassed by how horrendously messy it is even though it's normal to have a lot of boxes what I did was I dumped out the shit in the boxes in my apartment, which wasn't the best idea, but I just wanted to get rid of all of the boxes because it made me feel like I wasn't making any progress. We're gonna do a lot of organization today. We're gonna move the bedroom around. We're gonna organize the bathroom. We're gonna do the kitchen, my favorite part. I did unpack so, so much last night. I was just so exhausted. I didn't want to think about filming and multitasking. I'm at the front door because this is the cleanest background <laughs> yeah super excited for this next chapter and obviously you guys are going to come with me during the progress of it all it's in shambles at the moment but for now we're going to be put together and get shit done unpacked my shoes literally this shows you my priorities accessories and shoes in the closet i still have other packages and boxes but this is like the state of the apartment all of my clean clothes are bagged right now and i'm moving them but i'm moving things around in my space that makes more sense in terms of feng shui because i don't really like the bed facing the door and i'm getting a frame coming soon hopefully because the other one was giving dookie 120 dollar wayfair and we're not about that <laughs> She says she's jacked. Never taught love. You keep it peaceful and equal. I'm used to wars, love, hard love. I'm used to trauma, used to drama. Got a list of bad. Oh, there's a third one. You have to put the third one. Can I borrow it? Oh yeah, you can borrow it. Turn it on. Okay. Cause you probably need it. Shout out Michaela for letting me her Temu. Is it Temu or Timu? I don't know. And then look. Hello. Wait, this is so awkward. Oh. Ah! What was that? The ladder. Oh god. I sorted all of my clean clothes in bags so that nobody touched my stuff. So I have laundry to do and fold and put away. I just have two big bags. Three bags. Progress. 
We folded my sweatpants, my pajamas, sweatsuits, jeans, sweaters. And then here I put my lounge tops and I just extended the folded pile here. But this is like very comfy loungewear and I added these hooks too. All of my comfy clothes are in here. And then I'm turning the other bedroom into like a wardrobe situation. But very happy. Okay guys, we're working on the kitchen right now. And I have these three frames that I got when I first moved to New York. I actually got them in Soho. I think I bargained each one for five bucks. But they came framed, which I love. And this one just reminds me of home because it's a mom and her son eating in the napkin says mom. I just think this is cute to stack right here by the island because this is where the counter stools will be once they come in. The first one should be, should be higher. Today is day one of being in my apartment. Basically, I set aside a suitcase of fresh towels, fresh sheets, toothbrushes, clean clothes, and things that I actually would want to wear during the week so that I don't have to freak out and open up my boxes and be like, where are my things? So that's me right now, and that's why I'm wearing something super extra. And the most progress I've made is in my kitchen so far. I found my magnets, and I don't know who gave these to me, but they're so cute. And I love little knickknacks like this especially when it comes to food and my last fridge wasn't magnetic so i'm super excited to be able to use these little this little things so i did my little drink station and i felt like these were the things that if anything because this is like an open shelf this would still look really cute to any guests who come in so i have the matcha that i like to use here and my bowls this is from my friend deb she got it for my birthday it's a le creuset which has been on my wish list so i can't wait to make little dishes inside these are from physique so good i actually love putting my matcha i put a fat ice cube and it's the perfect amount of caffeine so i don't feel too sick from the milk i have my whisks i think this is just some regular one i don't know where it's from this is the cutest yellow one from nami it's not that bright right now but the sunlight here is already so much better than what I got in my old place and I loved my old apartment so much. I just didn't realize what a difference direct lighting would make. So anyway, these are things that you guys probably recognize from my other place, my kitchen stuff, little dishware, and then my knives. I'm still deciding where I want to put everything. I feel like you can't really put the seasonings and this and the knives all here. I think I want to put the knives there. But I don't really want to put a coffee machine here. So like there has to be some sort of trade-off. I could put the water boiler here, but I'm still figuring things out. But I'm going to show you the cabinet progress that I've done. Here she is. Yeah, definitely have made a lot of progress. is coming con ed is already set up my sheets are clean i have toothbrushes out i have scissors ready so that i can unbox them because last year i was being such a freak and my boxes were all taped up but i had no scissors to open them and then the nearest cvs was like a 20 minute walk so i was like you know when you're just so overwhelmed you don't know what to do first so that's what i did and i ended up just sitting on the floor and crying for an hour that was also my period but this time i had scissors in my bag i was ready prepared freshly washed pajamas, underwear, clothes set for the week. Honestly, I advise when you're moving into a new space just to have those things ready so that you can feel kind of like at least some part of your life is put together, you know? Like at least I'm wearing my favorite PJs. At least I have my stuffed animal. It's clean in one aspect of my room. And also right before I moved in, I actually came to do a deep clean. All the surfaces were wiped down. I washed the bathroom. Like I just made sure that everything was clean so that when I was unloading, I wasn't like, taken aback by any sort of like 
you know, hairs or just like things that like the old tenant had left behind. I'm deciding where to put the bath towel hook. Here? Like why did they put that there? This is ugly. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, well, I feel like this right here makes sense. Huh? I'm just gonna send it. Deciding where to put it. I think I want to put it right there. So it kind of like is normal. And in case you're wondering why I hid the other hook, it's because it was silver. There's a lot of gold hardware in this apartment. And the black just looks a lot more sleek and matches the design of the sink. So that's why I need to switch them up. I just, I just can't with the silver. That just feels right. And then I'm gonna add a matching hand towel or face towel, whatever. How cute! A little matching hand cream next to it. Folded in my Dyson hair there. Shout out to Dyson. Sending those. And then I have my sink with my soap, some q tips. I have my little Hello Kitty q tip snatch. How cute is that? These in the old apartment and I just refilled them. I want people to feel like they're staying at a hotel, aka my brother's room. Okay. <laughs> organized my kitchen so this is far in my reach and while I was unpacking it got me craving it so we're gonna eat some instant noodles for dinner. Anyway you guys this is easy enough to cook on the stove so my first time using it. I actually hate electric stove tops but you win some you lose some and can't complain because even this kitchen just looks so much more open. So cheese, mayo, butter. It's gonna be unhealthy. I do wish I had at least some scallions or green onion or onions of some sort, but we're gonna have to go without the veggies today. We're gonna make the bodak noodles and you can see all my boxes in the back. Just ignore it too because the kitchen is done and it's progress. possibly the ugliest process of making instant noodles because I was holding the camera in my mouth, which is also out of pocket. But I added corn and cheese, mayo and milk, which sounds disgusting, but I swear it's yummy. And seaweed and a fried egg with like a little furukake on top, which I know is different and a little maggy, but I feel like it adds some flavor. And the cheesiness in the corn. Corn's for vegetables, okay? Mm. I really needed this. Wow, that's it. If you've seen my other cooking videos, you know that I'll be in the trenches in the beginning and then it's totally trusting the process. So this was an example of trusting the process and having it be totally bombed. Because...